Good morning, friends. Firstly, Happy Easter, Happy Passover. We just want to thank the good Lord that He came and He gave His life for us so that we could have eternal life through Christ Jesus. Today, I want to talk about apologetics, evangelism. I want to talk about the cross being Easter. I thought it would be apt to do a video regarding the importance of the cross. I watched a video not so long ago, about two days ago, uh, that a friend of mine sent me, where they were saying that the cross is a mark of the occult. Now, I must tell you, <laughs> I was totally blown away <laughs> that a so-called Christian man can say that the cross is a symbol of a cult. Even though he confesses that he is a, a Christian and he believes in Jesus. So, I'd like to, to talk to you a little bit about what the cross means to us. It is a symbol of what Jesus Christ did for us 2,000 years ago on the cross. He was crucified on the cross. And he took our sin. There are so many things that the cross represents because to us it represents the freedom that we've been redeemed because the blood that was shed by Jesus on the cross makes it possible for us to enter into the kingdom of God because it says that the blood of the Lamb washes us clean of all our sin. So that is the importance of the cross, because it is a reminder, and we should always take heed of the cross, because that's the punishment Jesus had to take for us. So to say that the cross of Jesus is an occultic symbol, a satanic symbol, means that you are crazy. You don't know the Jesus of the Bible that we do. And it is heresy. So, today I want to talk about the saved and the unsaved at this time of our lives. Many people are going out there talking about Jesus, apologetics, arguing the point, arguing the gospel to the unknown, arguing the gospel um, to other religions. And what the Lord, through His Spirit, showed me in the Word of God was in um, Deuteronomy 30, verses 19, and I'll read it, and it says, I call heaven and earth as a witness today against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that you and your descendants may live, that you may love the Lord your God, that you may obey His voice, that you may cling to him, for he is your life and the length of your days that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers. So what God is saying is he puts before you life and death, blessings and cursings. We choose. So those of you that are born again, that watch the video, you made that decision to serve Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And therefore we live, as God says, that um, I set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. We have life and blessings that our descendants will be blessed. So the question is, how effective is evangelism? How effective is apologetics without the cross, without the blood of Jesus Christ. And I want to say this to you as an evangelist, because that's what I studied. And I studied the Word of God, because the Word of God is truth. The Bible says that the Word is sharper than any two-edged sword. And in John 46, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Word of God is the truth. We must seek the truth. 
And so the question I need to ask you, why did you choose Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? I'll tell you why I did. I chose to serve Jesus Christ because I want to spend an eternity with Jesus in heaven. I want to spend that time with him and learn and know more. Because here's the thing, we only have two choices. There's two choices. Heaven and hell. One with God, one without God. And Deuteronomy 30 verses 19 makes it clear. I call heaven and earth as a witness today against you that I've set before you. Life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life. He gives us the clue. Seek life. I want eternal life in Christ. I want to spend my eternity in heaven with Jesus Christ. No pain, no suffering, no sadness. And I walk in this divine healing, happiness and joy and peace being in the presence of the Lord for an eternity. But yet those have a choice out there to say, I don't want to know Jesus. I don't want to go to heaven. I want to go to hell and have a party with my friends. Or I don't even believe there's a hell. Now apologetics and evangelism is supposed to come and say, yes, but the Bible says. Here's the thing. The word of God says that the word of God is foolishness to those that don't believe. So whether you present the gospel to them is irrelevant because they it's foolishness to them. So in my many years of being a Christian and evangelism, this morning the Lord gave me, through his spirit, gave me this scripture and gave this in my heart that Christianity is a choice that you and I have to make. I've made mine. I know where I want to go. But there are those that really don't want to know anything about Jesus Christ. Even though the whole world, 8 billion plus people on the planet, many of us believe that Jesus was the Christ. Many of those believe that Jesus was a good man. And yet, Easter is celebrated throughout the whole world. Why? Because it had such a major impact on the world. So, this video is about helping you to understand the importance of the decision that you make. Because this decision that you make is about heaven or hell. I can't stand with a gun to your head and say, choose life. You've got to go to heaven. Choose Jesus. And the Muslim will say, but I've got Allah. Or the Hindus will say, but I've got my God. And the other people say, but I've got my God. What's different about your God? The difference is that my God, Jesus Christ, gave his life for me. The other gods, the false gods, are the gods that require your life. They're not prepared to die for you. And Jesus is the only person that rose from the dead, that ascended into heaven. That's why he is the true Christ. He is God. But that is not an apologetic. That is not evangelism. That is the truth. So what I want you to think about is to think about the truth of the word of God, the truth about Jesus Christ being on the cross, the truth that Jesus gave his life, the truth that Jesus ascended into heaven. And it's important that you know this because you've made a decision. And if you haven't made the decision, the choice is yours. Deuteronomy 30, verses 19, I'm going to read it again. I call heaven and earth as a witness today against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both you and your descendants may live. You see, it's a choice. God says choose life. 
But every single human being has to make a decision whether you want to go to heaven or whether you want to go to hell, whether you believe in Jesus Christ or whether you don't. There's no argument. There's no debate. What's there to debate? It's all about Jesus Christ. It's all about whether you believe or whether you don't. So I'm going to leave it here. And I want you to think about what Easter means to you. Maybe Easter will give you a better understanding in your heart about what Jesus did on the cross for you. Because he was beaten, he was, he was punched, he was spat upon, he was ridiculed, he was mocked. Till the very last point on the cross where they said, this is Elijah, he's calling Elijah to come and help him. And they said, hang on, you said you're gonna, you can build the, the temple again in three days. If you are the Christ, come off the cross, save yourself. They mocked him and ridiculed him. And at the time when he said, it is finished, the sun was gone. It was dark. It was pitch black for a period of three hours. That even the soldiers saying, this is truly the son of God. Because they knew. And let me say this to you, when Jesus comes back again, all those that ridiculed him and all those that mocked him and all those that killed him will see him and will know that he is truly the Son of God. He is God. He is our lamb. He is our Passover lamb. Jesus is the sacrificial lamb. And that's why I serve Jesus. Because he died on the cross for me and for you. And so having that foundation that understanding of who Jesus is and what Easter is really all about. Without the cross, Easter has no meaning. Because Jesus died on the cross for us. And that's why the cross is so important to us. So when you, some, when you hear somebody saying that the cross is a satanic symbol, pray for him. Because he's lost. And there are so many people out there that teach the biggest load of garbage. But the truth will set us free. And the most important thing for us to remember is what Jesus said. I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes unto the Father except through me. Jesus Christ said that. So much so that he died for you and me. And I just hope and pray that when you watch this video and you've mulled over the, the content of the video, that it gives you a better understanding and it helps you to, to get to know Jesus in a, in a deeper, more meaningful way. And if you don't know Jesus, then think about the choice that you have to make. So I want to say thank you for letting me share the word of gospel, the word of God as the gospel to you, because gospel means the story. Because it's important to me that you get to know Jesus Christ. It's important to me that you make a decision to be able to get to heaven and to share an eternity with Jesus Christ and all the saints that have made that decision. God bless you, and I hope that you are blessed and that you have made the right decision. Amen.